Hey guys, welcome back to this Daybreak update. Today we're going to be talking about the Z1 Battle Royale and the road ahead of us. And there is a specific reason why I'm bringing this up today. So, starting it off, they uh, mentioned that we have a deep love for this game, H1Z1 on PC. I do believe that the Daybreak team do enjoy and have enjoyed their game immensely. I do believe that. I believe the passion is there and I believe the team really does enjoy what they have created because we as just survived players did enjoy the game we thought it was amazing and they did set as they say here uh is the original br game that launched the most popular genre in the world now that is uh, i guess you could say quite an interesting statement the way it was phrased and utilized but nonetheless they did start the genre as even now we see even titles like Battlefield 5 and Call of Duty with their version of Battle Royale. Now, the interesting part here that I want to kind of emphasize with you guys is the second paragraph. The dev team at Nant G did an amazing job bringing Z1BR back to its roots, but the sudden transition left the game in today's uncertain state. Not only did it leave the game in an uncertain state, it left any type of information about just survive even more in an uncertain state because I would have anticipated that with this rather uh, long introduction here from the team that they could take just a moment to say something about just survive the challenges are real and significant but we also know that many of you love this game yeah just survive we love the just survive game just as much as we do with our help, we believe we can try out some new ideas and get the game back on solid footing. Now, I personally don't know what the current state of it is, but here's what I can tell you. Many of you um, post questions to me almost every day on the state of Just Survive. Now, I appreciate and value you guys asking me this question, and I have tweeted to daybreak several times asking for them to please address this specifically because you guys ask frequently and I have even tweeted your guys questions to the daybreak team showing that you guys ask with frequency now of course I enjoy you guys visiting the channel visiting the videos and leaving your comments and suggestions and other things about it but I want to clarify to those right now in a very clear language and I know some of you guys may get a little frustrated may get a little irritated may get a little annoyed for me making this repetitive statement and that is as of now we do not know the state of just survive it was in fact let me highlight this Nant G did an amazing job bringing Z1 Battle Royale back to its roots. But remember, Nant G also was considering getting the title for Just Survive. That did not happen. Nant G did not follow through with Just Survive. I need to emphasize that because that is one of the most common questions I get. Because there is this idea that because the title is back with Daybreak, that somehow Daybreak is under some obligation to bring Just Survive back. And that is not correct. Daybreak is not under any obligation whatsoever to bring back Just Survive. And I want to clarify that. I've, I've written that a thousand times to people that have asked me the question, but it still seems to come up. So I wanted to bring it up in this particular video. But what I wanted to show you guys is next week update will include a new vehicle, two new weapons, six new arcade modes, new skins and outfits along with a whole entirely interesting new map that's going to be coming up we have a lot more ps4 content available for z1 battle royale so i know <laughs> many of you also ask about console mode would just survive well just survive isn't even on pc so the idea that just survive would be on console is not a possibility as far as we can tell either so i hope that answers that question for you guys on um, console but the biggest content drop we know is coming to both platforms is a major one, the new Outland map. Now, this map looks pretty damn cool and would love to see this, you know, of course, if there was a if there was a just survive. Now, it's very difficult to say, like, how far along the game had been. Now, when I've talked to my friend uh, Danny, Tom Girl Gamer, she, you know, was flown out to 
Daybreak back when they were introducing uh, the new uh, game modes or the new Badwater Canyon. And she had mentioned, I believe we can discuss this now, she had mentioned that uh, Daybreak did have like a whole other set of content, assets, and other things for Just Survive. So I don't know what it all it extended to, what, it, what all was involved, but we can probably get an idea that there probably was a lot going on in the background as far as what they were going to add. But so these guys are getting this really super cool map which looks pretty interesting to me, and I would love to be able to try that out. Who knows, I might even log into it and just check it out on my own. But so far, no, no news from Daybreak as far as how they're going to address or what they're going to do with Just Survive. So again, I will say that perhaps the assumption here is that they consider the game Sunset, and so there really isn't any need for them to perhaps mention it. But I did want to bring up uh, this latest news out of Daybreak. I'll include uh, the links down in the public section below if you guys want to read a little more into it. But nonetheless, that's where we are right now. I want to thank all you guys for your likes, shares, and comments. And we will continue to kind of keep our eye on it and see if anything does come up. So during that time, you can click on the uh, channel icon appearing right here on the screen to subscribe. Along with that notification bell so you guys will know when there is additional content here uh, relating to the game as well as here on the channel. And I will see you guys in the next video.